Welcome back heroes to some more Temtem. Last episode we finally arrived at Simpanku. I went down south and we saw General X trying to take a traitor. Um, some Bellsoda member was like, oh, you, you know, you threw Max off the edge, you know, you guys are pretty bad. And um, luckily managed to save him. Now I need to head to the dojo, we can actually explore this town now that looks absolutely incredible. I love this. Also we caught a new Temtem, we've got Amplin, which is on the team right now. I do want to switch the team up a little bit and I'm going to do that very soon. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? So there's some side quests down below. How do we get down below? And we need to go to the dojo, and which I think is just directly forward. Uh, was that the Temporium? All right, let's go up here first. Right. Yeah, so that's the dojo. We need to speak to her in a little bit, which we're not going to do right away. This is a work in progress. Right. Oh, look at that cool digital Tem. Oh, that looks so sweet. I'm hoping we can get a digital Tem this episode. That'll be so cool to add to the team. Or at least uh, maybe find the place, the shrine for two-way. Uh, let's talk to you. Okay, we're going to have to repeat the uh, last endurance test. Sorry, I wasn't recording. I've been there. I've been there many times. Uh, hey you, are you a teamer by any chance? Yes, ma'am. Are you busy at the moment? My colleague, Mirai, needs uh, someone who can help her with field work. Yeah, sure, I can help. She's trying to introduce a new species to the uh, rice fields, but between you and me, she's more of a lab denizen than a field researcher. Go see if she needs a hand, will you? Or I'll be working on this on my own for the rest of the month. Right away, ma'am. Don't call me that. I'm not a dojo master and it makes me feel old. <laughs> okay, so we'll go there in a little bit. Let's go to pick up a few side quests while we're here. Uh, let's talk to you. Coming from the lab, Special Agent, I'm afraid we have bad news about the shrine. Oh, shrine what shrine? The one in the cave right up ahead. It's a very ancient shrine dedicated to the uh, Kami spirits that protect the island. Well, used to be. In any case, it's a place of great power. If only we could uh, harness it after first repairing it, if that's the correct word. What's the matter? We, I'm almost ashamed to admit it, was our fault. We want to study the place of power to harness properties for the development of better digital Temtem. But we made a mistake. We built some machinery in there and everything should theoretically be working, but it just stopped. The power is gone. There's no scientific explanation for it, but a priest came by a few days ago and said the Kami were angry with us. They don't like us meddling with their shrine. Well, that's what the priest said. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry, for every problem there is a scientific solution. Just have to find it. Okay. Uh, so... So what's the matter? There's another option. Can I help in some way? I don't know, to be honest. We're at a loss as to what happened. The only one who can seem to have an inkling is the priest, I suppose. If one accepts such non-scientific reasoning. Which I don't, naturally. <clears throat> but we're running out of ideas, so perhaps you could go ask the priest. So where can I find the priest? She's a hermit with a certain reputation for being a bit out there. In every sense, they say she usually roams the pillars of high above. She had an argument with the big man of Miyoko village, so now she's a wandering pilgrim of sorts. Got it. Thank you, Voltsy. I promise I'll give you access to our experimental material at the shrine as soon as this is solved. Okay, so this has got to be how we get two-way digital form, which uh, we definitely want. See, I was debating whether or not to box... Drag Ash and then go and um, get the earth one. Oh my god, look how cool that looks. Uh, it's your turn to go get the sandwiches. What? Why? Where? Every day I randomize who goes get the sandwiches. It's your turn today. Sorry, the RNG gods have spoken. Get the sandwiches, please. Why don't you go? This is not my turn. In fact, it's never my turn. Uh, that's just how randomness works. Sorry. Oh man. Okay, I'll go get the sandwiches then. Hurry up. The team is hungry. Okay. That's so cool. All right. So, where are the sandwiches? <laughs> Go to Isaacia and get sandwiches for the team. There is more stuff over here. No, I think that's down below, isn't it? All right. So, to get down below. Wait, is there a side quest here? No, that was down below as well. Okay, so I'm thinking we go on this. Aha! That's so cool, man. I love this place. Wait. Oh, in here? Oh, it's mobile floors. So is it high above? Nope, not in here. Let's go to the second floor. Yes, you. Not now, please. Whatever it is, I'm trying to be done with unpacking today. Need a hand? I'd appreciate that, yeah. Can't find the TV remote, or my laptop, or my phone. This is a mess. Right, okay, so over here we have a bunch of clothes. 
Under the t-shirt, the TV remote. What a place. Okay. Have you found my things? No, keep looking. Okay, I was trying to open the box actually. Here's his phone, right under his nose. This guy. And then here, very predictably, his laptop is just here. Okay, I found all of uh, his stuff. I'll go tell him. Uh, you found them? Here they are. Oh, by the pan sun. Where were they hiding? Thank you so much, buddy. Now remember what we, what it was? Did you find that manga, uh, Volume 3 of Therese Revenge? Uh, what's it about? It's about the uh, Kisuan Wars. Not very historically accurate, but super cool. Uh, you have the Kisuans with their giant mechas fighting the denizen sea monsters with the evil queen that, well, you get the idea. Wanna have a look again? Yeah, no, I, I don't think it's here. I went to that guy upstairs, I can't remember his name. It seemed the friendly thing to do, but could you go get it back for me, please? It's sort of awkward, you know? I feel you, I feel you so much on that. Alright, let's go upstairs, go and grab this. Ayo, hey, I'm the muscle. Gotta get this manga back. Uh, bedside table. The desk. Mm, that manga is nowhere to be seen. So it's definitely not here. Time to borrow that. Uh, Malo, dude. Hey, oh. Uh, so you didn't find it. Uh, I was thinking. I threw a party last night and I think, well, memory's a little hazy, but I think someone asked me if they could borrow that volume. Wait, dude. You lent the book to someone else? I know, it's not cool. But don't tell him. Please, he's a nice dude. Just find it and return to him without mentioning this little mistake, please. Thing is, I'm not really sure who it was. Brilliant, how do I find them? It was a girl, like, she was talking about this anime for ages. Didn't ask her her name? Maybe I did? I have a bad memory. You know, good for faces, bad for names. Uh, yes, yeah, same. Anyway, she's a local, lives in the neighborhood, just ask around. Okay, I'll ask around. Good luck, tell her I really dig talking to her. Yeah, I'm not gonna be your, like, uh, middleman, man. Right, so let's leave this place. And where do we want to go? Down this way? Oh, we've got the, uh, big crowd. Oh, wow! That looks awesome! I want that! Where do we get one? Uh, where is in the Tempedia? That looks so, so sweet. Is it this thing? Oh, I want it! That actually looks amazing! That's gonna be electric, maybe electric crystal, right? Oh, I want it. I want it so bad. But it doesn't tell me where I can find it. Ah! Oh, I want it, man. I'm sorry, friend, I can't speak right now. I'm trying to convince the audience to... Wait, what's that insignia? You're with the Congress? So I'm Hero Vaulty, Congressional Agent. But the Pansun, you're just the one I need. Will you speak to them? Please. Doesn't have to be a great speech, just something to convince them to join the Congress. Against Clan Bell Soto. Sure, fight the good fight. Are you ready? They're, a vol they're in a volatile mood? You won't have a second chance if you blow it. Uh, what should I say? I don't know, I guess. First, make sure they're all f feel included. Some have come from very far away. Then they want to hear what happened in Kiswa, really, and how they can help. Focus on the positive, on what they can do. Okay, uh... Okay. Like Clan Bell Soto, you mean? Nothing political against Vidden Islands, brainwashing people and mistreating everyone, right? Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, wrong thing. Uh... I'm ready. Dear audience, I give you Hero Volti, special agent of the Arch Archipelagic Congress, a veteran of the Battle of Uruuru. Uh, citizens of Simpanku. We're right here, no need to shout. Oh god. Uh, let me tell you what happened in Kisiwa. The Kisiwa resistance was against the wall, with the Vombi garrison isolated and under constant attack from through the tunnel. So, I was sent to scout west through the... Oh, dude, you know what? I want to try and make sure I get this right, because I've only got one chance. I've got to make sure I do this right, so let me, um, remember this. Yeah, so it was the Geno Gap. I managed to join the Resistance forces at Yupinzani, and from there we launched the final blow, which was Operation Tusk. We infiltrated the great city of Uru, and there we had the final battle against General X. And what lessons can we learn from Kisua, Congressional Agent? Uh, we can say... We all need to work together. So what can we do? Uh, support the Congress. Even if you're not a tamer, you can still support the Archipelagic Congress. We need everyone to work together. To leave their differences aside and unite against Clan Bell Soto. Win together or be defeated alone. Hmm. 
Yes, long live the Congress. Long live free Kisua. United we stand, divided we fall. Well, that was it. Thanks for coming, everyone. That was a magnificent speech, Falsy. Didn't know you were such a great uh, orator, as well as a tamer. Look, these are all my savings. I was planning on using them to go to Kisiwa and join the Congress. But now I know you will make better use of them. Please accept them. 5,000 Pansons! Ooh, that is sick, boy! Safe travels, Congressional Agent. Long live the Archipelagian Congress. Oh, perfect. All right. Uh, so next, let's go this way. So there's a Temporium. I'm guessing the quest here will be an upgrade, maybe? Yeah. Talk to this dude. And we got more Temtem, -tem, well, Tem Deck slots, which is always nice. So the next one is upgrade your Tem Deck slots in Lockburg. Nice. Okay. Alright, so after this, we want to go over here. And go and do this quest, which is probably the go. You. Oh, hi. You're new in town. So I'm here for that comic book. Oh, you mean Marlots? Are you a friend of his? Nice to meet you. It's here. All right. Please thank... Is it Ma Malotti? Malotti for me and tell him I really liked it. Sure I will. Thanks. I love your outfit, by the way. Oh, thanks. I wore it myself. Okay. Uh, let's go... Yeah, down this way. And then we take it straight back to him. Which was on the second floor. Yeah. Oh, you're back with my manga. There you go. Buddy, you're a star. Yeah, it was nothing. You're very nice. Anyone told you that? Real good egg. I travel a lot because of my job, you know, and I never totally get used to the constant packing and unpacking. It doesn't get to, it doesn't get to me as much as it used to. My wife couldn't stand me. So you know what I, I, what I do? I use this meditation technique. Oh, okay. Got refresh. About time you took a little breather. This thing increases special attack and heals 6% health. Ooh, really refreshed. Wow. Glad it works for you too. My wife says it makes her even more nervous. Can't please everyone, I guess. True, true. Right, so. Uh, where do we want to head to next? Right, so we got uh, a quest over here. Mm. Is that Ash? Wondering, that's got to be a little reference to Ash, surely. Look at the hat, the clothes. What's up? Uh, just my usual, I travel from one place to the next, doing odd jobs and challenging dojo masters. Beating them, sometimes. All the while, polishing my team of skills. Hmm, sounds familiar. You ever notice how many people just uh, give you odd jobs and requests for help as soon as you meet them? Makes you wonder what, what would happen if us wandering teamers just stayed home, you know? It's like being a knight errant of times of yore. Anyway, I think I'm going to have one last one. <laughs> Okay, uh, is it you I'm talking to? So I'm here for the- oh, the sandwiches, of course. They sent you this time? What happened to that girl? Anyway, yeah. Here are the usual favorites. Bunch of sandwiches. Oh! I think, um... Kramer, they're, uh... The, the, the developers of the game. Ah. That's cool. And I'm just bringing them sandwiches. So now I bring you sandwiches, just saying you can bless me with a with a Luma, please. <laughs> I won't wait, that's not it. Wait, is it? Oh, I think I was on the top? Yeah, okay. Last time we came in from this floor. The coders are starving, you don't want to see them. Okay, uh, so here are your sandwiches. Guys, food's here. Hey, can now can finish this list of features. Must definitely include fishing. Wait, which features? So far we have crafting, dating, mole customization, airship stunt competitions, and fishing of course. So you're the designer. And, and game director, yes. Basically determine what the game is about in terms of mechanics, the actual things you do in the game. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So, what's the game about? Depends. Do you mean the story or the mechanics? Uh, both. I more or less know uh, what you will do in the game. It's an airship sim after all. The problem is we still haven't figured out why or where. That's Professor Victor's job. He's a narrative guy. Can you... Can you go poke him? See if he has something. Okay, can do that. Uh, I guess he's down below. Because up top's the factory, which sounds interesting. No, okay, he's in the factory, which is upstairs then. Unless he's in the hall, which is down the bottom. Aha! Uh, not now, I'm trying to figure out if we need free axe or what. 
You the narrative designer? You can call me the lore master. Okay, so lore master. Joking, joking now. Call me Victor, what's up? Uh, yours says we need the narrative now. Oh no, don't tell me we're out of uh, pre-pro so soon. Uh, down below, take me. I was still polishing some aspects of the general world building. I still haven't figured out even if the sketchiest idea about the general uh, macro macroeconomic environment of our in-game world. Are you sure the game needs that level of detail? Probably doesn't. I do anyway. Hmm. Okay, here's the pitch. In this game universe, people live on islands floating on water, sort of in the air. And all those islands are on the surface of a massive ball, sort of an archipelago. Think of the strategic possibilities. Such a world is easier to reach everywhere by airship. Such a world would be way more interconnected than our archipelago. So, great skill for having different cultures interacting for centuries or, or millennia. All the potential for conflict and cooperation and drama. Blam! The setting writes itself. Okay, sounds good to me. So far, so good. Okay, so what does this setting suggest or need? Fishing! Because of the big oceans? Yeah, I guess. I think you was already considering some mechanics for fishing, so this will tie in nicely. What else? Uh, discovery. Nice one, but we need to give it more some new spin. After all, a spheric world is very easy to explore, right? So all the cultures probably already came in contact ages ago. Let's learn how to live in peace. So probably a very strong culture uh, of cooperation and tolerance. Good, I love that. Should inform the gameplay too. If this is on finding stories and covering secrets, rewarding that. I just need to develop these uh, concepts a little more. Create some lore and then the most important bit, draw some maps. Uh, like these? Yes, look, that's my first rough idea for the continent. Hmm, I saw a job by a five-year-old. Yeah, I know, whatever. <laughs> Wait, does you want this for today? Uh, yep, hurry up. Story of my life. Oof. Come on, Vic. Think of something. Something fast. Seems to be delivered today. Down below, take me. Now I'm too blocked to think of anything. Um, tempt him up. No, come on. I don't have time Time now to... Well, come to think of it. What gives? Yeah, sure. Need to switch my inner critic off. Let's run outside for a second and tempt him up. Might be just the thing I need. Hey, let's go. Just want to fight a developer, you know? Yeah, we need to switch out because this is not a good matchup for us. Alright, so... Oh, luckily it's pretty weak. Alright, switch into Cernif and then Windburst you. Do some damage. Ooh, that's nice. Yep, the, the sound animation for that just keeps breaking. I don't know if that's just me or not, but if you experience that as well, let me know in the comments because I'm kind of curious. Because I had it work once. Last episode, the first move I used it, it worked fine. And then the second time I used it, and then from there on, just never got the... Uh, the did I get the sound effect there? Am I done? I was too busy talking, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Alright. Nice, nice, nice. What's next? Grandpa and Banshee. Right. Uh... Let's switch into Ampling, and then just Wind Burst you. I love the battle music as well. Everyone's Wind Bursting. All right, let's go. Thunder Strike, that's you definitely dead. So I think maybe I should have healed up Ampling. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Because if Ampling doesn't outspeed him, then it's gonna die. Yeah, Banshee's super dead. Wind Burst. So the problem with Ampling right now is the stamina. It uses so much, we can't even like go for another move. I think it's probably best just to switch. I'm trying to think, like, what, what will our team be? Like, I'm going to keep Ampling to want to get the evolution because it looks so awesome. But then also that one we just saw earlier. I might look to see where, where we get it because I really want it. That looks so cool. All right, Smoldering Kiss. I forget what it was called, though. So let me just bring it up. Um, unless I can find it on here. So it looked like it was electric. So it was... I don't think it is actually electric. Look at this um, temp decks. Oh, I just, I just saw that. Um, Sparzy evolves. Did not know that, but uh, 
You can tell you who have the whole lot by EOD. With maps, even. Okay, let's go and do that. So it was uh, floor two, right? Oh, no, there it is. It is. It's called Inky. It's Electric Crystal. I was right. So exclusive to... Sorry, el most elusive Temtem in Simpanku position of Inky is the ultimate maker of Master Among Neo Edo trainers. So where do we find this? Oh my god, Luma looks so good. The Luma of it is so... Uh, it's just red. Oh my god, I need that. Anything from narrative? Uh, yes, Victor's working on the round world pitch. About time. Okay, we have the airship sim mechanics more or less designed. Time to go into full production. Guess you're our new producer then. We need to get the art and coding departments working on the new project right away. So QA can get some testing, get testing a new build ASAP. Here, you're going to need a symbol of authority. This will make you feared and respected in the office. A fake beard? Nice. <laughs> uh, now get the team started. Sorry, team started. I'll work on the enemy balancing. Meanwhile, okay, aye aye boss. Now let's get started. Hey, you're actually just making a game here. It's kind of cool. So I'll check it, uh, but I need that tool. Blasted duality. I said I'll check it. Need the tool yesterday. Well, Marcos was working on it. Well, I'm still waiting for it. Hey, don't drag me into your newlywed arguments, you two. All I'm saying is I need that tool for the... Then you. Are you, are you that hero Volte, the new producer? I am. You tell me. Either that or you came for another tool. Hey, get in line. I asked first. As long as I don't have to debug that thing again. Hey guys, are we adding the stickers to the game or what? I've been waiting for two years now and... Guys, guys, calm down. Volte, you were saying? Can I help with anything? I don't worry, Volte. They're always like that. As I was saying... Plus a duality. Settings again. Guys, who had the settings? I took them to read downstairs. There's too much light, light here and then I'm not sure what I did with them. Ah, uh, Volte, can you go check that? Find the duality notes. Should be downstairs before... Uh, Devonio? Devonio? Devonio. Yeah, throws the computer out of the window. Or you... Oh, or me. <laughs> or him. Right, so downstairs. It's in the hall or on the Studio One? Oh my goodness, there's so many people to speak to. Uh, ah, you're the new producer, right? Welcome to the art department. This is the 2D table. Over there are the 3D guys. And the animators are the part of that other table. Hello, everybody. Hi, are you the anime guy? Uh, I am. Hi, sorry, I'm a bit sleepy. Well, we're just uh, getting started with concepts in our direction. What about the anime? Is it true? Are we going to have our own anime series? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, sorry, not so loud. Wait, you should be sleeping on the job. I'm not. I just had a long in the evening. Uh, playing World of Tem Temcraft? <laughs> anyway, this is the 2D team. We're making good progress with the textures and 2D assets. But the animation team are having some trouble with the characters. Maybe you can give them a hand. Sure, I'll check with them. Excellent, thanks. All right. Hey, yo. Oh, cool tattoos. Um, so we're waiting for the code to send us a build. Uh, okay. Guys, how are you with the player character rigging? This one just isn't working for me. Totally stuck, like the protagonist of Anesian uh, Explorers in Chapter 24. Sorry, you guys talking to me? Can't hear you if you speak from that side. Hey, I think I know you. Aren't you the protagonist from that manga? The one about a young tamer who's kidnapped on the Apprentice's Eve? Uh, I'm totally a manga character, yes. Anyway, since you're here, did you, do you mind staying right, right where you are? We need to get some references to animate the main character. Good idea. Give me a second to get ready. Guys, are you saying something? Okay, let's just start small. Uh, here, player just want to race against a rival airship captain. Give me a heartfelt reaction. Uh, there you go. You guys got that? Moving on. Having trouble with the scene. Player is making camp in the wilderness after crashing into an unknown land. Ready to rest. Uh, for my dab. Classic. Yes! <laughs> and the last one. Here, player and his friend are deciding who's going to try and fly across the Piggy Peck Bridge first. Uh, make it rain! I feel like I picked the wrong stuff, but um, doesn't matter. Oh, I actually got to get it right? Ah. Okay. So. So it's got to be exciting because we won. Then it's, uh... Players making camp in the wilderness after crashing into an unknown land, ready to rest. Is it cross-legged? And then... Rock, paper, scissors. That's gotta be right, right? Yeah, there you go. What? Hey, you over there. Are you the producer? Can you give us a hand too, please? 
Uh, who said that? You? You're told us there's a new guy. Is that you? Thank goodness. We need some help. Sure. What do you need? Do you have anything that, uh, for that Inferno stage? I'm totally stuck on that one. See, this is where you come in. Uh, Arnaz and I are working on the environment, environment art, but we need some reference photos or we'll never make it in time. Like pictures of places? Well, yeah, exactly that. We have the request from design, but we need some references. Yes. The more urgent one is for the Inferno stage. It's supposed to be a hellish place with fire and flames and all that stuff. You gotta fly your airship between these uh, waterfalls of lava. Lava falls, whatever. I know a place like that. Great, we need someone who's, who's well-traveled. So I guess a journeyman tamer is the ideal reference seeker. So for the second level, the player is a prisoner of the air pirates. So we're gonna need references for Holden Cell's dungeon the works. If you get us some references for the ice world, that would be ideal too. Not like we've seen much ice or snow in Denez. Here. This, take this camera to snap the pictures in them straight away. Oh, cool. Right, and here's a list of what we need so, don't, so you don't forget. I'll put, put it in order of priority so we don't waste a minute. Okay. Uh, Fiery Inferno, Dark Dungeon, or World of Ice. We haven't been to an icy place in this game yet. I do hope there is an ice like um, world because like ice places are usually my favorite. They look so cool. So you need a code. Uh, yeah, go to the code. Let's go to the hall. Anything down here? Uh, oh, it's a sticker. Oh, there's the notes. That was a sticker. All right, so we got that. So now it was the second floor. Was it the third floor? Am I giving the notes to... Yeah, it was to you. I found them. Great. Give this guy a hand before he goes crazy. Crazy, yeah. Very funny. Okay, Voltsy. What's the setup's first step then? Configuration. Unassign. Terminals. Wait, which server are you using? I don't know. I'll check that. It's like that time Victor managed to destroy Gat with two clicks. Still not working. Uh, all right. Let's try and figure this out. All right, so we go to this. Then we go on to on Pogify. Then we go textures. And should be the dev external. So this is like that time Victor managed to destroy Gat, you know, two clicks, and the last 35 times. It works now! Hey! Hey, you're welcome, dude. Alright. Seriously, can someone turn the lights off, please? Hey, producer. When are we implementing those stickers? How much of a debug like this? Faulty, could you bring me a nice temtem for rubber temin? Please? For what? Told you the way you say it, you make it sound dirty. Whatever, usually we'd have a rubber temtem here by the desk, and when someone, some code doesn't work, you just grab your rubber temtem and explain to it how the code works. Sounds weird, but it actually helped a lot with debugging. Help you spot the things that don't work. Used to have one of those rubber Thames, but Sara T hoards them. Anyways, uh, can you bring me an Ori? It's my fav. It's actually, it's actually understands code, being digital and all that. Uh... Great, now to find an Ori. Code is classic Tem. Won't anyone finger the lights? Where do I get an Ori though? That's what I want. I would love one. I know I get the thing, like I can see the thing here, the inky we get, it says the pillars are high, high above, so once we go there, we can grab it, but uh, what do we want to do now? Like, some of these quests we can't do just yet, so I think now is probably the time to go to the dojo, and I wonder if we take her on now. I feel like it's probably going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're back. Well, I suppose now we have time for a more formal welcome. This is Neo Edo, my humble city. Welcome to Sampanku. Lovely city. Thank you. Hope you all like your time here. Even if you're not exactly here as a tourist. Don't look so crestfallen, Voltsy. We'll find another way to defeat the Bell Soto. Trust me. Think about the bell, that Bell Soto you captured, or rescued. Dr. Sorum said he just needs a few days of rest and relaxation, so I had him sent to on Onsen Shima. Uh, okay, so what did Clan Bell Soto want with him? Nothing good, that's for sure. Claims he's a deserter. I'd be skeptical about it if it wasn't for the way his comrades treated him. He might still be a double agent, so tread carefully with him. He's currently recovering in Omsenshima, like I said. That's west of town, cross the bridge. You can't miss it. I'll go interrogate him then. That's one possible avenue of investigation, yes. If Clan Bell Soto wanted him so badly, he must have some crucial information. There's another lead you, uh, you want to check. Carlos is in Nanto Lamps, investigating the digital disappearances. Has he learned anything? Last I heard from him, he was cross-examining the witnesses. Uh -huh. As I told you in Kizawa, digital prototypes have been disappearing from my lab for some time. Never managed to learn how or why, but I suspect Clan Bell Soto, of course. 
Carlos can surely use your help. The bell setter behind the operation, we need to put a stop to it immediately. Before they use those stolen digital Temtem to uh, strike again, like they did in Kisiwa. Got it, interrogate the wounded bell setter and check on Carlos. What should I do first? Oh. Up to you, Congressional Agent. Musa trusts you to represent co Congress interests, I trust you too. Uh, I'll go see Carlos first, because the guy needs some relaxation. So, yeah, this lab is just here. Wait, yeah. Uh, main lab? Wait, is this a Nanto lab at the bottom? Oh, but rest assured, I will get to the bottom of this. And we'll know exactly how and why those digital Tim Tim have vanished from this lab. Mm. Boltsy, guess you've been here is bad news. It means you didn't man manage to catch your prey. I was close. Yeah. Always a pleasure working with you. Uh -huh. Uh, see the slot here? I've narrowed down the list of suspects to these three here. I'm sure it must be one of them. The person who's been stealing top-notch digital prototype from Nanto Labs is in this very room, right now. Dr. Wood, one of the researchers. Homura, lab assistant. And Alberto, one of the cleaning boys. Any leads? Uh -huh. Plenty, and a few red herrings too. What I need right now is a fresh pair of eyes. Yours will do. The man who smoked out the Bell Soto spies from the uh, Tasa Desert, no less. Okay, so where do I start? With me, partner. First, I'll give you a timeline of the night the last prototype disappeared. I've confirmed all of it, so you can't, so you can trust it's correct. Uh -huh. Then I suggest you interrogate the suspects one by one, get their version of the events, mm. and lastly, before you come back to me, I'd recommend you take a little tour of the whole lab, familiarize yourself with the building, and then, then hit me up, and we'll move to the denouement. Like they say in uh, pretentious novels, that is, we'll go through the testimonies again and see if we can catch the culprit. Uh -huh. Ready? Got it. Get my timeline straight, interrogate suspects, check the locations, get back to you. Excellent. Need to nail this one, partner. We have Teleboss gone again. This might be our only card against Clan Bell Soto. We can't afford any mistakes. So ready as I'll ever be. So around seven, these three were the last ones on the first floor. So seven, okay. First floor. Dr. Wood and Homura were working on their computers. The one on the western side of the room, Alberto was sorting the recycling by the elevator. Okay. At some point between eight and nine, uh, Homura got up and went somewhere else. Returned at 9. Alberto was seen leaving his place as well. Uh -huh. Around 10, everyone went home. The receptionist was the last one and locked it down. Got all it? Hmm. Ready to inter inter interrogate the suspects or do you want me to run through the timeline again? Let me write this down. Just to uh, get all this uh, correct. Okay, so I'm ready to start. Excellent. Start with Dr. Wood. She looks sort of suspicious to me. Okay. Me first. Okay then. Already answered uh, all the questions, but uh, okay, go on, I suppose. So, why did you steal those Temtems? Well, I didn't. Hmm. Bit more finesse, Foxy. Tell me exactly what you did yesterday. <laughs> Sometimes you can catch them out like that. So, I guess I worked all day here. I didn't leave the main lab, I don't think, and I guess I didn't see anything useful either. My desk is against the western wall, so all I can see is my screen. Sorry, I'm not much help. And then I left. By nine, I think? I was the first one to leave. Wait, that doesn't make me a suspect, right? It could have been either of those two. Who knows uh, what they were up to? Alone in here? Thick as thieves. And you never ever left the lab. Okay, did you see any f anything or anyone? Nothing suspicious. Or more like nothing at all. My workstation is against the wall, like I said, so nothing, sorry. Not once. Well, actually, I went out for a ramen at some point. I was getting peckish. Don't look at me like that. Everyone has to eat, right? Right? Uh -huh. If she left the building, the receptionist might have seen her. Okay, we're done. Just want you to know, I have no reason to steal anything. I love my job. This is surreal. So you're a sidekick. All right, let's be done with it. Spent all day working. I had a couple of uh, cordial uh, com uh, conversations with colleagues, naturally, and then I left at the same time as Alberto. So who did you speak to? Like I said, Alberto around 7:30. Maybe I was talking. Uh, maybe I was taking all the uh, draft paper to recycling. Oh, and later I went up to have a chat with Tetsuya, one of the design guys. Uh, we played a board game for a minute. To clear my mind, Dr. Sasea was still in here, still in her office, so so there. Unless you suspect her. Uh -huh. It'd be interesting to know if Tetsuya confirms his alibi. Did you see anything suspicious? Well, I... Maybe I shouldn't say, but since these are exceptional circumstances, Dr. Wood went out that evening. She said she was going home for ramen, but now it sounds mighty suspicious, doesn't it? I want to check that with the receptionist. Okay. Alright, let's talk to the uh, dude, but... Another detective, how exciting. I mean, yes, officer. I'll answer any questions. Did you speak to anyone? Yes, at some point I went up to design. Dr. Wood had told me the archives had a lot of old stuff that should be sent to recycling. So I rode the elevator to the third floor and talked to Aya. 
She's the one in charge of the archives. I don't remember what time it was. Well, I've checked with Aya. So what time did you leave? I think it was like 10, maybe? Pretty late. I was chit-chatting with my friend Homura. We went out together. The doctor was long gone by then. Don't mean to imply anything by that. So that'll be all. Thanks. Right. So let's go and check with the receptionist. You. Can be of assistance, so what time did everyone leave? I'm not sure the exact times, but I do recall Dr. Wood left first. It was a little bit early, and then the other two left together. Quite late, maybe 10? Had to wait to lock, lock up the place. Hmm. Anyone leave at different points? Dr. Wood left and then came back, but that was at lunchtime. And if I recall correctly, they ran the inventory much later. Right, so if she'd smuggled something out, we would have found out. Or found out. Love Detective series, can you tell? I catch all the clever details. Hmm, sorry, anything else? Okay, interesting. That thing is kind of cute. Right, uh, let's go to the design. And Tetsuya? Is that you? No, uh, did you talk with Alberto last night? Um, let me think. I don't feel- oh! No, oh, okay, yes, we did. Very briefly, he asked me something about old files, but I didn't have any time. So to leave it for today. But today, well, it's messy. I don't remember what time it was, but Dr. Sasea was in her office. Okay. Uh, it's not the right person to speak to. Is it you? Nope. You? Ah! Care for a game of Ugma Arena Empire? Did you play that with anyone yesterday? Yeah, with Homura from Main Lab. Cool chap. Came for a quick game last night. He was stressed out. We played the sudden death version. And was Dr. Sasea in our office? How would I know? Take a look for yourself. You can't see her office from here? There's no angle, why? Dr. Sasei is looking a little sus. Just a little sus. She's got a really nice uh, office though. Right. So let's talk to Carlos. So what do you mean, check their versions? I mean, if someone said, for instance, I went to the bathroom, then you can find a witness that can testify they saw the person in the bathroom. Okay, uh, hmm. so I think I'm ready. You have one chance. This is serious. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Let's focus on Dr. Wood first. So she claims she was the first to leave that night alone. And she says she didn't see or hear anything suspicious. So, um, yeah, she went out during the day. That's like, yeah. At what time? Uh, it was lunchtime. Uh -huh. So that's correct. Okay, uh, she could have smuggled the Temtem out. No, because she couldn't have done it. The robbery was later during the night. Yeah, because the robbery was later during the night, because the person even said that they would have saw, but exactly. If she'd done it during lunchtime, it would have been discovered during the afternoon's inventory. Exactly. So what's your final word on Dr. Wood? Be very careful. So we should say... Hmm... She's innocent, yeah. Perhaps or perhaps not. Let's move on to the next suspect then. Homura, the lab assistant. Okay, so uh, he was playing a game with Tetsuya. So correct. Um, he claims they both saw Sasea in her office while they played. Is that enough of an alibi? No, because you can't see her from there. Exactly, a weird thing to lie about, isn't it? Almost like he's too anxious to prove his innocence. Mm. So final verdict, um... I don't know. Let's move on to the last suspect then. Doesn't mean he must be the one, I think about think about it carefully. Was it Aya he spoke to? Yeah, yeah, Aya. Uh -huh. And she confirmed that, she's not particularly suspicious in my book. Uh -huh. So our... Uh, Paisano Alberto, did he do it? Uh, he didn't, cause he, he was like he got asked to go take the recycling out. In that case, let's move to the uh, denouement. Who did it? So the question is, who did it? So it has to be the only person that's kind of given us like an alib, like a, a kind of a false thing was. Homer, because he said you can see the doctor, but you can't see. So, uh, yeah. Bingo. That was almost flawless. Hmm. Love assistance, Homer. You're under arrest for the uh, theft of the digital Temtem. Bro, I'm innocent. I can prove it. I don't think so, buddy. 
Here at Vaultsy caught you fair and square. Surrender now and you'll have a fair. Oh, I can't explain, but no way. Oh, what the? Where did he go? He's running away. Run, get him before you lose him. Wait a second. Before you do, have this. We'll help you capture him. Oh. Six or 50. Damage done with matching type te techniques is increased by 40%. Sweet, this is my dear Mellow Cotton. Isn't it Happy Peach? It will serve you well, Vaulty. Uh, the best notes for tracking and sniffing clues are side of Solaro. Mm. You got most of the clues and found the culprit. One day you might be a great detective. You deserve more than a reward. More like a friend. <laughs> and now, go, catch him. All right, let's go, let's go. Uh, yeah, hall zero, then we can just like walk out, can't we? Kinda wanna add this to the team. Oh, what a rude young lad. See a man running out of here? He's wearing a lap clothes. Oh, that lad? Yes, I did bump into a young man. Running east like he was being chased by all the demons. I think he went into the rice fields. Thanks, bye. We should have a quest to do for the rice fields as well. So we can do- wait. This is open now. Let's see what kind of clothes we can buy. Ooh, that jacket's kind of sick. Oh, that's also kind of sick. Uh, how much is the jacket though? Wait, the bottoms are also really cool. 28,000! I ain't spending that much on a jacket. Nah, not yet anyway. Like, I'm gonna make sure when I spend money on, oh no. When I spend money on clothes, I'm gonna make sure it's what I want. Like I'm gonna, like my final outfit, you know? I learned that lesson the hard way in playing Final Fantasy 14. Spent all my money on outfits and then basically just had to find something better. I was like, okay, it's kind of a waste of money. All right. Uh, yeah, let's leave. So heading east. So up here a little bit. There we go. This way. Oh, there's a sticker. Hey, it's a mint condition one as well. Let's go. So rice fields. Let's quickly open uh, the map. Well, this place is massive, so we have to go all the way down there. Oh my god, this place is... This place is massive! Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, oh, I was going to add to the thing to the team, didn't I? I'm going to do that now. Also, actually, I want to check... Is the high above place on the west? Because if it isn't, I can go there now. I can maybe capture a Temtem for the team. Uh, so let's move you and yeah, just for a little bit. Like I, f I do like Dracash, but it's just I feel like he's. Oh, this looks so cool. It's just, it's just like a glass cannon. It's not even like a glass cannon, like he just takes, doesn't take hits very well. Uh, right, so this leads to a dead end. Anything around here we can grab? Oh, you want to fight? Oh, look at the, um, just realized the uh, Temtem's eye is a different color. I forgot what the actual word for it is, but do you have any idea what the average rice yield per acre is? Nope. Me neither. That's what I'm trying to determine here. Oh, it's gone down, it's scratching itself. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I put this on the team. You know what? I'm going to kick your ass for that pun. Your ass. I didn't even know what pun I said. I was looking at my dog. Or wolf or whatever it is. It looks so cute. Oh. I should have checked the left side. I was going to do that. I totally forgot to put the dog on the team. But that. Oh, look at that. Side crocs. That looks kind of cool. Uh, I don't know what we can actually go for right now. I don't know what moves we have, but it fails. Okay. Need to mess around with your moves actually after this, I think. And you're definitely toxic type, you'll be too flying or win. Alright, uh, we've got willpower drain. And let's finish this off. Like, let me look, so Inky, which is what I really want on the team. Pillars of high above in Simpanku, rarity is 5%. Oh no, it's, it's, that's not, I don't think it's high above. Uh, connected areas, Rokan, Miyoko Village. Okay, so we can't get it right away. 
Uh, undermine. Whoa, that's a good move. Okay. Actually kind of clutch. Right, nothing here, okay. What kind of Temtem can we find in the... Uh... Oh, so yeah, Nestler. That's cool. We have to make sure it's not recording space. Yeah, we've got 15 hours. We're good, we're good. Right. Oh, so I'm thinking for my final team when I get to it. That Inky I really do like. I think I want to replace Ampling. Then we get the digital version of Two Way. I'm going to keep this Mellow Cotton actually because it's really cool. Have our starter. That's four. I think I'll keep Cerny if it's so good. So that's five. And then do I replace Platymus? Oh, there's a uh, thing we need. Okay, cool. Right, uh, so let's do this and then we hit you with a wind burst. We'll, cap we'll capture two of these. One to give to the uh, person at Kramer and then one to just maybe use. I love this thing, it looks so cool. Right, 10 plus and 10 plus. Come on, be cool man, be cool. Nice! Go on, Ari. Our first digital Temtem! Whee! And we need more though. Oh, hi. How's it going? You! I've seen you chatting to my workers. Leave them alone! They already slack off too much without you distracting them. Uh, not me, ma'am. You deny it? The cheek. I'll teach you a lesson. You can try. You can get absolutely destroyed. Oh, Spazzy, that's not good. Alright, uh, do that. Do this. That's a pretty pretty. Kill me, isn't it? Oh, well, this is not too bad. Drill impact, hey, we're fine, we're fine. Right, next we go for Undermine. And I'm gonna Wind Burst it as well. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. That move is actually so good. Ooh, okay. Oh, you're Inductor, of course you do. Oh, I'm not liking the look of this, man. Okay, at least the Mellow Cotton is actually usable and we can um, train up a little bit. Right, I'm going to bring out you. Bring out you. I feel like I can see what my final team's going to be now. Like at the start of the game, I had no idea what I was going to catch and use, but now after seeing some Temtem, I'm like, okay, I know what I want to use. Like, that Inky thing is so, so cool. Got to use that. And then, now that I know that our uh, starter is part water. Uh, I love Platymus, I do, but it's, it's not as cute as Platy Pet. But now I'm thinking, do I take off XP share on Ampling? Because we're not... If I'm going to replace it with Inky, is there much point in training it up right now? I don't think so. So let me just change some stuff. And yeah, let me go and... Um, Go back to the Temporium, because there's no point wasting the, the vial when we can just literally run back here right away. And get healed up. Alright, so do this. Right. If I go... Squad. Take off this. Gonna actually put this on to you. And then I'm gonna lead off with these two for now. I'm gonna replace Ampling with Gazuma just for a little bit. 
Because Kazuma's better than Ampling at the moment. There's another sticker there. And that way, once we get Inky, we can just replace Kazuma right away. Alright. So we go down this way. Oh, it's a dead end as well. Okay. We go down the middle. We need to find another Ori. And we go down and then right. Hey, there we go. That's what we want. So I was debating what like my first Temtem will be that I try and um, shiny hunt. And I think I'm going to go for Inky. I just love the look of that. Crystal Electric. Oh, looks so good. Uh, ouch. All right, let's hope we get you. Tim card and Tim card that we can have one, one we can um, keep and use, and then one to give. If I want to use one, you know. All right, nice. So we go down this way. Hey, oh, want a battle? Oh, my back is killing me. At my knees. Let's take a break, eh? We've been at this since dawn. You overdue for a rest. Hey, stranger, tempt him up. Really? Are you going to challenge this random guy just like that? That's how teamers do it, don't they? Tempt him up, then. See? Like in the anime. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Oh, a lowly... Oh, you have to have an uh, electric type, don't you? And I've got a switch. Oh, uh, switch... And then we'll go Sharp Leaf. The little form of uh, Rajnet looks so cute. <laughs> Wasn't effective, it's all good. And that doesn't do too much. Mm. Got an Electric Storm. And then I guess Sharp Leaf still. Do do a little bit of damage. Maybe Electric Storm can finish it off. Oh. That was like no damage. I did 10. A little bit more, but still good. Uh, problem is I can't do much to this thing. Uh, yeah, still like this. We can finish you off with Sharp Leaf. DC Beam does a little bit of damage. And then we just got a spam. Spam attacks. Alright. Uh, DC Sharp Leaf. Those and I'm gonna go for a win. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Guess drill impact and then water cut lily. Nice. Let's go, boy. Big damage. Nice. Then one left. Although we have like no stamina, which sucks. And a Chubby. What's a Chubby? Oh, it's kind of cute. Uh, I have, I'm guessing you're maybe... Wind? You look... I, I doubt it'll be Wind Electric, but I say you, the yellow makes me think of Electric, but... I don't think you're Wind Electric. Oh, okay, so you're four times weak to electric, so you're wind and something mental? Wind mental? Well, that's got to be it. Alright, let's go down this way. Yeah, keep following this. How's it going, buddy? You, tempt him up. Uh, no time, chisin a criminal. You never catch him. Okay. 
Well, I wonder if you could fight here. That thing is kind of cute as well. Look at it, it's like a little... What is it, like a little blob? OB1. <laughs> uh, okay, it's actually kind of bad because... I feel like the Zeobian is going to take me out. Oh, I double attacked that thinking it was going to like be so much stronger because how small it was. Again, for like a little bait. For it wasted a bit too much stamina to try and take you out. Alright, I might do the same again but onto this because if I can take you out before you even hit me, that would be great because if you hit me, I'm going to probably die. Because I know you have a very strong, uh, like electric move. I think it's electric. Okay, there's like nothing. There's no way we like finish you off. Oh snap! Okay, it's weak to water. Okay, I know you're weak to water. That's actually so good. I did not know that. Let's go. Oh no, that's okay. I switch out. Uh, switch. Okay, that's fine. It's our first time being doomed. Doomed. Oh, such a good boy, man. Did you throw? Oh, is that maybe toxic digital? I think, it's, I think that that type is toxic. Toxic digital. If it is, that's kind of cool. Nice. I mean, it's definitely toxic as weak to flying, I think. Look at that a little bit. Hey, 51, 58. Let's go. Right, how weak are we? You never catch him. Oh, you know him? Are you with him? Very perceptive, special agent. Done my bit. Now it's up to Shiratama. Hey, what's up behind you? Oh, ah. So he's working with a bigger organization. I have to catch him at any cost. All right. Let's go up here. I'm a little bit weak, but I feel like I can probably get away with another battle before I heal up. It's not the right way, but this looks really cool here. Alright, so let's go up here. Keep following this. Try and win a few battles if we can. That way we can just like get in front, heal up, and then we'll be good. Ooh, oh, we need the uh, the baby form of that for a um, for a side quest, but I think you can only get it by breeding. Oh, Doom stays. Oh, I thought it would like reset after the battle. Oh, that's not good. I've got to fight you, so we'll fight these two and then we'll um, heal up and fight that dude there. How's your mission going, Special Agent? Uh, smooth as silk. Good. I can't wait for the order to storm that Teleboss Pat place. Let's take back time for what they did to my land. Yes, and we'll finally go somewhere nice and dry for a change. Yeah, that'd be nice too. So what are we doing out here? Making sure there's no bell sort of activity in the zone. Enough, uh, noting any suspicious comings and goings in the zone. None of which has happened, and we've been standing here for hours, trampling around with wet feet. It's not what I had in mind when I joined the resistance. At least we could do some temtem up to pass the time. Are oh, you going to regret having said that? Thoughts here is unbeatable. So says the legend. But if he has time, why not? Yeah, I don't really have the time, but I don't mind destroying you. If the Doom doesn't take me out right away. Oh, I can't go for a water move, can I? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. If I can hit you, at least do some damage. Come on, big damage, big damage. Nice! That is what we love to see. And that's not bad damage at all. And the Doom's gonna kill me. The Doom! Mmm. I'm gonna go with Metal Cotton. I, I love this. This is so cool. When I thought it was like neutral type, I was thinking, eh, not the best, but now actually, you know, I kinda, kinda love it. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, I'm gonna nibble. No, no, no. I'm gonna nibble you. 
I'm gonna double attack it just in case we can't kill it. Nice. So I assume normal is only weak to melee, which uh, I haven't seen a melee in a while. I'm gonna do this and this, and we can take you out, and then we've got one left. And the invasion should end unless it goes for something else that brings it back, and you're weak to that. Sweet. Oh no, you're Aleph, aren't you? I thought you were the normal one. It's all good, it's all good. Right, invasion's gone. Oh, I can't go undermine again. Guess I nibble ya, and wait. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get taken out. Oh, you're just gonna focus. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Finish it off. I think this is Water Earth. Yeah. Might take ourselves out, but. It's all good. Nice. Right, now we get healed up. And we can go take on this dude up here. Uh, backpack. Alright. What's going on here? I'm sorry, am I interfering with the harvest? I'll be gone in a minute, I promise. I'm just uh, testing a new Temtem. Oh wait, Taiko sent me to help you. Uh, this is the different side quest. This isn't what we're chasing, but um, are you the new fieldwork assistant? Not a minute too soon. I'm trying to test Mimit's adaption to a natural environment. It's very dicey. So why are you trying to implement Mimit here? It's an unusual measure, I know, but after such much deliberation at Nanto Labs and various consul uh, consultations, with the dojo, this is our answer to the increasing lack of diversity in Simpanku. The problem started with digital Temtem started showing up in the wild. Nobody knows how exactly, but Dr. Sasea suspects it was a, a premeditated act. But that as it may, the problem is that some digital varieties started outperforming the endemic Temtem, displacing them from their natural breeding grounds and thus disrupting the natural balance. At first, we tried to limit the digital spread in the wild by asking local tamers to help us capture as many as possible, but it was already too late. Digital Temtem are here to stay. So we're introducing Mimit instead. It's the ultimate breeder, designed to produce viable eggs with pretty much- Oh, so this is the Ditto! Okay, so we, we need to make sure we get one of these. The issue of it finding the perfect spot, as it is now. Mimit is an artificial construct, it needs some time to get used to a natural habitat. So we need to find the perfect place to give it a head start. So, shall we test it? I've run some tests and it seems a bit uneasy to in the environment. But we can't be sure until we see it perform under battle conditions. Now don't go too hard on it, we don't want to spook it. So we want to destroy him. <laughs> so that's the ditto. It's kind of cute. So we need this to start breeding later on. Oh. That's cool. Can't really do too much at the moment, but... It's not too bad. There they got me, man. So a lot of your stamina gone. Alright, let's go for this. And this. It's not the best damage, but... Hey, maybe we can... Get you close to... To where it takes to make you take yourself out with the stamina. And that does like nothing. Oh wow, I'm gonna do a lot more. But there you go, that's what we want. Just low enough where you can take yourself out. Uh, high pressure water and I'm just gonna switch. Undermine, finish it off. Ooh. Pretty tough. Hey, level 52. 
I don't think it might perform particularly well. It might be all this water. It's too wet an environment for it. Uh, I think I know a better spot. Where? Uh, I wipe is not too bad. I guess just south. That might do the trick. Yes, bit of a trek from the city, but if that's what it, what it takes. The signs. Meet me in our wiper and we'll try again. Right, so where is this person? Oh, do we have to go further east? Oh, snap. Okay. Let's go all the way around, but I'm glad we did that side quest. Well, part of it. We'll do the rest when we can. I gotta fight you two. Ah, visit a teamer. Let's tempt him up. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a good battle, fellow teamer. Now I'm ready to destroy. So that was, uh, was it? It was mental wind, right? So that'll be four times a week, and we'll go beta burst on you. No, 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 we don't have a beta burst because this will kill it. Easy. We actually might even one shot it. Yeah, boy! Let's do that. Sharp leaf. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's what we like to see, man. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, any more? Oh, thanks for the battle. It's a very interesting match. Cool. Can I go now? Of course you can. Didn't mean to keep you here against your will or anything, friend. Uh, I mean a dodgy guy in a lab coat. Oh, that guy, yeah, a few minutes ago he ran past here like all the demons of the down below were chasing him. He was heading south, I think. Thanks, gotta go. Good luck. Heading south, eh? Alright, so we go around this way. Gotta fight you as well. There's a lot of teamers around here. Hmm, hello, stranger. No time to chat. I'm chasing a criminal. I see. Why are you chasing him? Uh, he's a digital thief. That might be true, and yet, what, uh, what do you presume to know about the, his motives, Foltsy? This is enough for our first conversation. Let, let the temp speak now. Or you can just let me continue chasing. And all these people suck. Just let me get through. Uh, what do we do here? What do we do here? I think I go energy manipulation. Oh, it's OB10. It's like an evolution. There's two of them this time. Oh, it's kind of cute. Go on, big damage. Ooh. If that hits us an electric move, we are super dead. Although I think they're both electric. I think that one's probably electric digital. Chain lightning, oh yeah. That's super dead. You know, sharp leaf, take out the Gavinid. Uh, we'll go into Mellow Cotton. Because I love this Temtem so much. Nibble. And then actually let's just do this onto you. Assuming Nibble takes this out, yeah. If I didn't take it out, oh, that would have been so annoying. That's got to be like digital electric then. Lots of these like digital Temtem, or maybe just pure digital. I'm not too sure. A scunch, okay. All right, uh, let's do. Oh, scunch actually is going to be kind of bad for us. It's going to be super effective against Mellow Cotton. He doesn't finish that off. Oh, you're not attacking me? Sweet! That's what we like to see. But this is going to do like nothing. I mean, actually, not too bad. For a nibble. <gasps> we lived. Alright. Ah, uh, wait, no. We're going to wake up, aren't we? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get taken out anyway, so let's do as much damage as we can. We can just heal up after. So good, it's all good. Nice.
So what's your name? Why is it question mark, question mark, question mark? Very interesting, but I'm still not sure. Shall it suffice for now? I have business to tend to. I'm a strange old lady. Why do we waste too much time? The thief's getting away. Yes, they are. Wait. Actually, I can probably get away with one more battle. Uh, yeah, let's fight these two, so I kind of have to anyway. Yuko, Yuta. Uh, that's a promising start. Look, he doesn't know his own name. How silly. Let's make fun of him, Yuko. Yuko is you? Who's silly now? Well, Yuko, duh. Hey, who are you calling silly, silly? Well, you. They're actually, both of you. No, but let's be serious for a minute. I've seen your face before, right? Oh, I know. This guy reminds me of the Dojo Master Kiziwa. You got it wrong, this Dojo Master Tukma. Arasola, you mean? Uh, that's not even an island. I know. It's a dojo. You can have a dojo if it's not an island. It's like saying you can't get your Temtem if you don't have a Tem card. Exactly. So you admit it. No. You're silly. Uh. No, you're Max. Who's that? That team who was fighting the Bell Soto, the hero of Kisiwa. Dad says people who became priests do it to forget who they are and become someone else. Maybe that's uh, what this one did. Oh, that's why he's so confused. Well spotted. Fight me, kill me, whatever. Oh, you want to tempt him up? No, why didn't you say so? Confused? Totally confused, like I said. <laughs> uh, Orion's... Is that Smazzy? It's like a little baby form of uh, Spazzy. Right, so if we do this and this... Oh, how do you live at like 1 HP? You suck. That's fine, that's fine. Attack T. Uh, we should be fine. I think it'll kill us. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go hit you. Tsunami. Because that will finish off Ori. Do a little bit of damage on I do love the name Smolzy as well. Oh, is that? No. I thought the weakness was uh, that for a second. That was back on Ori. Oh, we don't have to barely anything. Ah, finishes you off. Oh. Didn't press. Oh, if you press back there, print the pause menu. I'm playing the hog. What's a hog? Oh, that thing we saw before. That is kind of cute. I do, I do really like that a lot. I feel like it's fire. Oh, maybe it's digital fire. Hoglet. I want to see what we get that. It looks kind of cool. If the evolution is nice, maybe I'll add it to the team. Uh, Hoglet. Tempter. Oh, it's four times weak to water. Okay. Alright. Uh, so you get Hoglip. In Pillar of the High Above, okay. So that's what we're going to be looking for, Inky. So that's actually kind of good for us. It's evolution. Uh, I need a bigger picture of it. I mean, that looks actually kind of cool. I only see like a little headshot, but yeah, it's digital fire. Oh, do I add that to the team? Now I'm unsure what I want to do. Oh, there's so many cool Temtem around here. I don't know what I want my team to be. Actually, so annoying. Like, this is making me not want to make two way to the digital form because of the cool... Oh, maybe make it a fire form then. No, because I'll add that. Oh, what do I add? So we're going to have electric crystal. So we don't want to make two vine. Our starter is part water, so we don't want to make it the water version. Um, do some damage here. Oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, don't want to make it digital if we get the digital fire. No, don't want to make it fire. Do we make it earth? Do I really go back and go and get two rock? I think I might have to actually. Because that. that would balance our team out quite well. So like our team could be, so I could have our starter, Mellow Cotton, the Earth one, get Inky which is Crystal and Electric, get that Hedgehog which is Fire and Digital. Sunny, that, that could be my team I guess. 
I'd be happy with that. Oh, it's empty. Oh no. Ah. Let's go all the way around. You know what? Actually, I think this is probably a great place to end this part off, actually, because we've done a lot and we've gotten here. So next episode, we're going to rock hop across and start exploring, I guess, all of this. And try to find the, uh, the digital thief. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.